Today I'm at the USS Albacore, an experimental submarine from the 1950s, now located here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. The Albacore is unique because it was a research submarine, and it pioneered the teardrop hull, also known as the Albacore hull, seen in almost every single modern day submarine today. The design was built around maximizing underwater speed and maneuverability. The Albacore was launched on August 1st, 1953, and is the third ship in the United States Navy to be named for the Albacore. By the 1950s, submarines had actually been around for almost 200 years, with the United States using one during the Revolutionary War to attack a British ship. But it wasn't until World War II that their effectiveness truly shined, and on both sides, Axis and Allied, notably with German U-boats as well as United States Navy and Soviet submarines. The diesel engine-powered submarines of World War II needed oxygen to operate, and they also needed the carbon dioxide removed. This prevented them from staying underwater for extended periods of time without surfacing. With nuclear power growing in the 1950s, there was a hope that warships as well as submarines could utilize a nuclear-powered engine. These propulsion systems were being researched by both the Soviets as well as the Americans and would revolutionize the capability of submarines, allowing them to be submerged for weeks or even possibly months at a time, much different from the submarines used during World War II, which were essentially ships that could go underwater. The United States Bureau of Ships formed a special committee in order to study hydrodynamic properties and come up with a submarine design that would be best utilized for extended underwater operations. Operations. The Bureau of Ships designed it as an unarmed submarine built for speed in order to prevent the Navy from interfering before the final blueprint could be completed. And they told the United States Navy that the sub would be used for target practice. This experimental, unarmed research submarine would come to be known as the Albacore. Throughout the submarine's operational history, she was retrofitted five separate times. Throughout these phases, several things were changed, including where the control surfaces were, different batteries, the size of the propeller, the size and style of the rudder, as well as adding a second contra-rotating propeller. And the sixth phase, which was never actually done, would have lengthened her hull by 12 feet in order to accommodate larger and more reliable engines. The Navy's nuclear-powered submarines of today are all based off of the teardrop-shaped hull that was prototyped by the USS Albacore. The two major innovations that were tested and focused on with the design of the Albacore was the underwater speed as a prime requirement as well as the usage of new high strength steel. This new hull form and design was focused on underwater performance as opposed to surface performance which could be utilized underwater. The teardrop shaped hull design led to speed records as well as an improvement in underwater control. And the shape was based on the form of a dirigible from World War I the R-101. Combining the features of the USS Albacore with nuclear-powered technology resulted in the USS Nautilus, which was the first submarine capable of sustained underwater operations, exactly what the Albacore was designed to test. The Nautilus would go on to be the first submarine to travel underneath the North Pole, due to its ability to remain submerged for long periods of time, made possible only because of the research that had been done on the Albacore. The Albacore tested advanced Cold War technology, including an underwater parachute break, as well as different coatings on its hull. Its unique shape allowed it to cut left and right through the water as well as ascend and descend quickly. Living on board was not for the claustrophobic. 55 men lived and worked inside its hull. In some areas, five bunks are stacked in about the space of a closet. The submarine's motto was Prianuntius Futuri, or Forerunner of the Future. She set the record as the world's fastest submarine in 1966 with an underwater speed of 40 miles an hour. She was used for testing propulsion systems, dive brakes, escape mechanisms, sonar equipment, as well as varying theories and other equipment. 
She was essentially a floating laboratory. She was officially retired here at Portsmouth Naval Shipyard on September 1st, 1972, and she was described as the submarine that gave its body to science. Getting to her current place was not easy, though. From Portsmouth Harbor, a temporary cut large enough to float her had to be made across a four-lane road, and a marine railway was built in order to bring her out of the water. The submarine ended up being stuck in the mud for several months before a coffer dam could be built and she could be floated to where she's currently on display now. If you'd like to visit and tour the USS Albacore, you can check it out at Albacore Park in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Thanks for watching and as always until next time, get lost.